Welcome back, Remodelites. Dave with Remodel Media, and I'm here with Christian at the Smeg booth in Orlando, Florida at KBiz, the Kitchen and Bath Industry Show 2022. We took a year off, but we're back in full force. Christian, what are we looking at today? you're looking at our retro refrigeration yeah. line. Um, That's right. yeah. This is uh, one that fits very well for Orlando, obviously, featuring yeah. Mickey Mouse as it does. But um, this line is what we're probably best known for in the United States. It's this product right here is sort of our key product for a very long time in this size. Um, you may have seen it before if you're familiar with the brand at all. But the big deal for us this year is that we finally have this size available for one, uh, the Pal 50, which is 17 cubic feet, so getting closer to sort of American sizing, so to speak. Um, we've been asked for this for at least a decade, so we're very excited to finally be able to offer it in North America. Um, also, in addition, the proper mini fridge, the Fab 10, which is over in this direction. We've had the mini bar, the Fab 5, for that entire period, but this is a proper mini fridge at last, and we are going to have both of these probably by about Q4 of this year. Um, so we're very happy to see that happen. Um, honestly, we've been missing several elements of our, of our product lines for a while just because it took so long to certify them. But um, in a way, the past the two years, which have been so chaotic, have given us an opportunity to catch up on some of the gaps we had in our product lines, and we're trying to fill all of them now. And um, I think we're doing a pretty good job so far. Yes, you are. Smeg has always been known for uh, innovative designs. Uh, we covered their, uh, their Dolce & Gabbana designs back at KBiz last year, and they are, they are here again. And so I saw something on the other side that was very classic Americana. Can you go take a look at that? All right, what are we looking at here? So this refrigerator is a uh, partnership that we have with Coca-Cola, um, obviously. Um, mm -hmm. It's based on their classic design of the vending machines from the 1950s and 1960s. Um, it's a little pricier than the normal Smeg Fab 28, but it is otherwise a Smeg, Smeg Fab 28 refrigerator. Um, but it is limited edition, not exclusive, but limited. Um, this was born because Coke partnered with us on an earlier partnership that is also here um, as a 15th anniversary item for the um, Unity commercial, which if you remember the commercial where it was a bunch of young people standing on a hilltop singing, I'd like to buy the world of Coke. Oh, yeah. That's what it was. Um, it was, I think, the most successful commercial Coke will ever had in terms of just like number of viewers, people who knew about it. And so they wanted to celebrate its 15th anniversary last year and partnered with a bunch of brands, including us. And they wanted to partner with us on a second item, and thus we have this. Um, I believe also it might have been based on the fact that I think in Europe someone was custom making smeg fridges like this. They were altering them to look like this. And I think Coca-Cola liked that. Don't quote me on that, but I okay. think that may have been the case. So. All right. And you said there's a previous design over here. And this is? The Unity Refrigerator. Um, that's what uh, Coca-Cola has called that entire line, the Unity Collection. So this is the fridge that is specifically designed to sort of pay homage to that commercial. Obviously with the art styling of that period and also with the sort of temperament and the iconography of that commercial, this idea of like, you know, I want to share a Coke with you as opposed mm -hmm. to just buy it in consumerism. So. <laughs> nice, nice. Now, I caught a glimpse of something on the other side here that is going to be very exciting for the world of custom yeah. kitchens here. Let's, let's go take a look at that. All right, now, this right here caught my eye. Tell me about this piece. So this is a panel-ready integrated column dishwasher, sorry, refrigerator, apologies. Um, we've been waiting for this for quite a while. Um, we had a 24-inch version, but we needed something larger for the American market, of course. And now we're 30. This is a 36. 36. And we are going to have this sometime in the next year, year and a half. And um, just what's unique about it for us, beyond the fact that it has an unusual rack configuration where you don't have to take them out, you can just slide them up and down like that. But also full LED lighting, uh, two temperature zones, so that the freezer drawer can actually also be used as a refrigerator component if you want to change the temperature settings. So you can get this one gigantic refrigerator. Oh, so you can put two units side by side, have one be part of the freezer, and the other would be the rest of the fresh freezer. Right, if you have that kind of space. But if you yeah. don't, there's also items like this, which is a 30-inch refrigerator and an 18-inch freezer on the other side of it. So there's a lot of options for modularity, basically. So 
Now, tell me, for the folks at home who are just now discovering Snake for the first time, give us a, a little bit of the backstory. Who are you? Where are you from? Sure, sure. Um, so we're an Italian company. Um, the name doesn't really sound Italian. It's an acronym for Smoltedia Metodologica Italiana Costala, which I hope does sound sufficiently Italian. <laughs> Um, it was founded in 1948 in a small town called Mostala in uh, Emilia Romagna, Italy, not too far from Mantua and Reggio Emilia. And um, they were founded as a metal enameling company, which is what the name references, obviously. And um, when the Italian economic miracle started to kick in the 50s and the post war boom started, the domestic market exploded, and so they moved into making appliances for the home. And they grew and grew and grew, became more popular in southern Europe, and finally started to expand internationally in the 70s and in the 80s, beginning with Australia, and then into France in 88. And then uh, they came here to the US, finally, formally in 2006, and um, we've been here ever since. And um, really are probably known more for our design than anything else, but the company's tagline has always been technology with style. So the idea behind it really is embracing technological advancement while also looking very good while doing that. So. That is awesome story. Thank you, Christian. Certainly. All right, have a good day. Pleasure, you too. Thanks for watching. I hope you got some good information out of that episode. Go ahead and click here for more videos. Go ahead and click here to subscribe. And make sure you check out the description below for relevant links to some of the products that we discussed today. And leave your comments and questions down below because I love answering them. As always, I'll see you in the next one.